Hello again everyone, welcome to another daily run. I do apologise if the noises outside are still audible. It's the 7th, two days after our on fire night. But now that it's Saturday, everyone's making the most of it. Today's daily is a Lilith run, which is new to me. Lilith's gimmick, I suppose. It's obviously that she is blind and has this uh, incubus character following her, which makes it considerably more difficult to aim than, than your standard character. Now, we also start with a box of friends, which will add one of every type of familiar whenever you use it. So if you can use it multiple times on a room, that's extremely valuable. Uh, we also must remember that um, actually taking an item uh, damages our... What am I saying? Score. It's a problem for our score. So... Uh, whoa! How did I avoid that? Come on now. Die. Um, it costs about 30 points to take an item. Uh, uh, a pedestal item. So uh, picking up the bomb bag may not have been the greatest idea. Then again, it may have been the greatest idea because now I think about it, bomb bag is going to cause bombs to drop. And picking up consumables gains you points. So we're just going to sit here and wait for the haunt to get you know, taken out. Without, ooh, that was close. With our two incubuses. Of course, ah, taking damage loses you points. And that was bad damage, but I, <laughs> I, my brain has atrophied waiting for this fight to be over. Uh, this is probably worth it just for the spirit hearts, although it costs us 30 points to do it. Um, we've decided, well, Northern Lion has decided, and I'm, I'm down with it, that time is not a problem. What you want to do is get consumables and not take items if you don't strictly need them, which does change the meta of the game somewhat, because in a lot of cases, you would normally just take an item, you know, it can give you some benefit. And in some cases you take an item because it's ludicrous, uh, and you want to see whether you can win, but in this case we've actually got an intention to uh, gain points. This um, incubus is not as hard to control as I was originally anticipating. Um, I think what's really going to scupper me is the idea that when I'm dodging, I'm going to be shooting from a different position. We can do various dodges that don't actually alter the loc the source of our shots. Ah, oh, I don't want that. Excuse me? <laughs> do you want to die a little bit faster? We'll go in here. It costs us some money to... Uh, no, it costs us points to use the key as well. Uh, we probably should have waited until we had a charge for our incubus doubler. But uh, I'm okay with this. This tiny room pin, though, might actually be one of the buffs that pin needed, because pin is normally an extremely easy fight. But if you don't have the room to get out of the way, yeah, you're going to get hit, man. You're going to take them damages. And trying to get this incubus <laughs> hit pin whilst we're doing the running around dodging malarkey is also a non-trivial task. Ah, uh, that's several spirit hearts, so I will take it. Uh, it seems to have actually paid for itself literally. It didn't cost us any points to take it. But we didn't gain any points for taking it. Uh, excuse me? How much damage are we taking here? Man. I think the thing that I've not cottoned onto here is the position that I have to be in compared to the position that the Incubus has to be in. It's really screwing up my calibration for the, for the Krampus right here. Well, the fact that I'm hitting Krampus makes my brain assume that I'm in a particular position, but I'm not. Uh, that was a reasonably decent pickup. We did get Lump of Coal, which would cost us some points to have picked up, but will probably cause us to do a lot more damage. Maybe get through the rooms a little bit quicker, uh, which is going to be valuable, because time is uh, a source of points, it's just not a major source of points. I don't think that's very much use. But we've probably got... We should check when we go into a secret room, whether we get an exploration bonus, because that's the thing as well. 
Uh, excuse me, Mr. Spider. No, thank you. And this spider is, of course, going to refuse to do the same thing, so we'll have to go this way. We can't do the normal... There we go. Normally, you'd shoot that spider to cause it to be out of the way. Possibly dead when you... But, you know, when you make that gambit. Oh, it's not good. So the incubus trailing behind you ever so slightly is is subtle. It's a subtly different way of controlling the game, but it's significant. It really is. I'm not really using my box of friends as often as I maybe should. Uh, I'm aware of this. This could be good, though. Hopefully this thing will pay out for us. Uh, before we have used too much HP on it. I'm gonna not take that. I don't want to lose 30 points just to find that we've got shitty pills in there. And we probably lost some points just, you know, buying it. Just on the damage we took. Uh, the points... Thinking in terms of points is not natural. You know, in Isaac, you think in terms of power. You, know, you play the game because you want to be able to shit all over the game. You play Isaac because it's it's fun to take all these crazy items and you know the the randomness of the pills is uh, a, a sort of a, a, a mini game in and of itself. There's a an element of chance that we this is worth it. I think, I think this might be worth it as well because of the yeah there's a scent in there and we did get through the other side so we didn't even waste the bomb. The, the not not taking mom's bottle of pills. Uh, the little bag, the pill bag thingy brain work. In order to save some cents, uh, some points, it's not really default. It doesn't, it's not how our brain works. I, I don't resent having to think in those terms, it's just that I don't think in those terms. So it's going to be a little bit of recalibration of my own brainium. How we deal with this. We're taking a little bit of silly damage here and there. Um, but this is my first go with Lilith, as far as I remember. I don't think I even played the very first daily in the end. Certainly didn't play it on camera. Oh uh, yeah, we'll fight Pete now. Having two incubuses is incubodes in the right place to start with is actually causing us to do a considerably considerable amount of damage. So I'm going to just <laughs> try and keep these two lined up in order to make sure they're both hitting Pete. And that was a very easy and quick fight. Deal with the devil? No. The speed upgrade is probably worth the points that it costs us to take it. And we'll go and find the item room to see whether that's worth the points that it will cost us to take it. Whoa. Again, doing rooms. Killing the enemies gives you points. Ow. Taking damage loses your points. But exploring, I mean, boss rush is probably more points than any of this. So we should really be thinking in those terms. But I think this is a library here. Uh, but you have to be powerful enough to even be able to complete boss rush. If not powerful enough, at least defensible enough. Uh, it's interesting. Temperance. Put that there. Maybe play it once or twice. I think the uh, cash you get from playing it definitely makes up for the points you lose playing it. What we'll do is we'll take the sun card into this big room over here. Uh, we'll check our item room first. It is uh, infestation two, which is actually a superb item. So I definitely take that. Um, no, we'll just blow this up. I'm tempted to take this, which is a D6 plus a D20. Maybe take this and this and then use this. We've got a death card. I, I, I recognise that we used our sun card, but I don't really want to explore this floor anymore because I think the deal with the devil meta is slightly better. And as much as I'd like to play with the new scalpel item, I think as Lilith, we really need to use the box of friends as much as possible. So I think we're done here. I mean, speed in and of itself is not a problem. We do lose, I think, it looks like about every two-thirds of a second we lose a point. Uh, I'm not going to go in there just yet, actually, because I don't want to lose a black one. Um, but getting to boss rush and then doing boss rush 
is almost certainly worth more than you would lose in the time it takes you to do a boss rush, provided you can do a boss rush. Does that make sense? So if we can do a boss rush, if we can make it that far, then we should. We picked up Demon Baby at some point, apparently. I don't really remember doing that, but okie dokie. Am I just randomly generating familiars? What is this now? It's a wooden nickel, it looks like. Flip a coin, okay. A coin. Oh, that's probably not worth the money it cost me to buy it, nor the points it cost me to pick it up. I don't know what this does, but I'm going to go ahead and suggest that I don't want it. Because it will replace our spacebar item almost certainly. Cost us some points. Uh, and probably slow us down while we figure out what it does. Infestation shot, by the way. Turning every death into a blue spider. Every enemy death, obviously. Uh, is quite fantastic. One of the better passive items in the game. Especially if we can get Hive Mind, although it will cost us the points to pick up Hive Mind and the money. Uh, absolutely worth it. Did we not find the secret room just now? Apparently not. Yeah, it's there. The locations of secret rooms is usually quite predictable, I find. Even if it's a room that I don't think I've seen before, this is. Oh no, it's five mushrooms. Reasonably common template. Careful there. Demon Baby, though. I'll do this, actually. Let's get some more of those. Demon Baby does not sort of scale to the end of the game, but we're only going as far as the mom fight anyway. Uh, which means I still think we will get the option to do boss rush. Now I think about it, we don't get the option to do the hush fight. That was terrible. I just sort of stood there and watched them charge me down. Did you see that? Uh, you don't get to do the hush fight if you're only going as far as Mom's heart. So I suspect... I won't pick that up. I suspect that you won't get the opportunity to do boss rush when you're only going as far as Mom. Now, Horror of Babylon here is a very difficult proposition. Uh, it's not that difficult. Let's take them both. Um, it costs us some points, but it will do such a number to our damage that it doesn't really... I'm not going to think twice about it. Though we are now rolling on spirit hearts, we have to be even more careful. But with the extra damage, I'm suspecting that the the value of having done it... I might come back to that. Um, will, the fact that we now have Horror Babylon mode will mean that we're much less likely to take damage, and therefore the fact that we're running on spirit hearts is not that big of a deal. Still not quite used to this Incubus. I'm still assuming that I'm shooting from where I'm standing, especially now that we don't look like Lilith and we've got our eyes open, etc. Uh, by etc, I mean... And that's it. In that situation. Uh, and when we enter a room, we're shooting from pretty much exactly where we are. We'll probably use this here. This seems like a good time to use it. Oh, I thought he was shooting at me, and then he wasn't shooting at me, and then I got shot. So I think uh, Demon Baby is basically going to carry us. Uh, not carry us, but it's going to carry itself, if, if that makes sense. To the end of this challenge. Um... It's, it's powerful enough to be beneficial all the way to the mom fight. And in the mom fight as well, which is kind of crucial. We will definitely shoot poops because the sense are worth well, points. Try not to take any damage if we can avoid it, but the spiders are extremely very well helping. And you'll notice we lose some uh, points when we use a bomb. It is known. This is a... Uh, Dirty room, so it's just going to be a trip down to the next floor. But the three spirit hearts I'm sleeping in this bed is going to be, are going to be extremely helpful. Uh, we found the right room, so let's see what we get. Can, right, <laughs> again, I look like. Excuse me. I don't even know what hit me. Taurus is not good enough, but the poop might be. For once, I'm more interested in the poop in the item room than in the item in the item room. What have we got here? Uh, again, not really valuable. Where are we? We're on Dank Depths 1, so we're going really, really fast. Um, we can definitely get into Boss Rush if we're going to try to get into Boss Rush, so we should probably think about slowing down. Uh, I'm trying to... Let's just get rid of these fuckers. There we go. And then we'll pick this up. Um, try and use... Help. I was... <laughs> Surprisingly, I didn't die. Try and get 
consumables. I guess a benefit of Lilith, or at least the Incubus item in general, is that if you do it right, you don't have to stand on line of sight with the enemy, and a lot of enemies, like Monstro 2 for example, shoot orthogonally. Uh, like those ones. But like everything that Monstro 2 does in terms of bullets has bullets coming up, up, down, left and right. So if you're on line of sight with Monstro, uh, I don't want this, so I'm pretty happy that I didn't pick up the HP. Um, you're more likely to be hit by said bullets, but if you're, of course... Oh! Accidentally picks it up. We might as well use it now. That was just shit beyond belief. Uh, I'm going to pick this up. I know it ruins the horror of Babylon, but <laughs> I, need to, I need to not die because I just accidentally wasted points, slowed ourselves down, used up HP that I didn't need to use up. This is probably a secret room. Mm-hmm. It's a greed point. Hello, greed. Hello, greed. Uh, anyone who's watched my videos before will be well aware of how bad I am at dodging greed's bullets. I seem to have succeeded today. Uh, I actually am quite happy having the AAA battery, believe it or not. reason for that is that it lets us use these this uh, extra familiar... Oh, really, really bad. I got trapped, okay? This extra familiar... Every three rooms rather than every four. <laughs> Let's just do that for the shits. I'm still failing, though. I don't like those ones. Having to hit the enemies from behind. Even more awkward as Lilith than, than usual. Just uh, turn everything off, thank you. Explosion? Nothing in those. I think the exploration bonus is going to be is going to make up for the time detriment sort of. See what I mean? This is another situation where you don't really want to be on line of sight with the enemy and if you can swing it. The world card. We'll probably save this till the next floor. Uh, the, the the incubus item very much helps you not be on a line of sight with those enemies. If the incubus were slightly further away. That would actually be a benefit in some situations, I think. Often, uh, Little Brimstone, for example. You don't want Little Brimstone at the end of your chain of familiars, right? Because it's much harder to control, and this is probably in a similar situation. If you've got it further back, it's much harder to control. You can't aim with it unless it's right behind you. On the other hand, if it's lagging behind you a little bit, you can move around a lot, while your familiar doesn't move at all, which means you can sort of set up a turret that you can position and then leave. So with two of them, you get a lot more benefit. That was uh, probably worth it just for the consumables alone. We're only on 8,000 points. We spent three minutes doing this. Oh, 9,000, okay. We haven't crossed the 9,000th point is what I'm getting at. We don't want that. And I'm going to be super careful not to step on any spikes, but at the same time... Uh, it's time to spend the two keys to get the bombs, but it's just going to be time... Time not well spent. And we'll use the world card to find out the way. Again, if we don't get into boss rush, it's going to be a bit of an issue. There's, a, there's actually a double key room down here. A chest-type double key room as well. So it could have something decent. Yeah, there may be a several consumables in here. Several consumables and several points, and none of them was a troll bomb, which was even better. This should be nice and easy. And we found the item room, even though I wasn't paying attention to the map. Uh, Bolotar is probably not worth it at this stage. Why? Because we're about to finish. Uh, which means... Uh, this room, though. Ah, dear. Help! <laughs> okay, just kill everything, fine. Um, because we're about to finish, Bolotar can only be useful on this floor. Okay. Now, Bolotar against the Mom fight, unless it's Blue Mom, it's not going to be that helpful, because the worst we're going to get from the Mom fight is just basement type enemies. Uh, excuse me, I do not want this. Desist with your shenanigans. There we 
go and we'll get some spirit hearts from Oh we can't because that's really really lame. Never mind. We will just plug on. <sighs> I think our strategy here is just gonna be beeline to the boss fight and try to get into boss rush. If we can find uh, a teleport card, that's kind of going to be the best of both worlds, because we can find out whether the boss rush is an option. Again, bad damage, but what do I care at this stage? We should probably check the shop, actually. Uh, and if it's not an option, then we just, you know, leave. <laughs> But if it is an option, we can do boss rush and then come back and explore the rest of the floor for the rest of the points. But we want to get into boss rush. Which is not going to happen if these sons of a bitches don't stop hanging out over rocks so I can't hit them. The knockback is just insane. This is worse than flies. There we go. Oh, it's a fucking super grief fight. Let's do this. There's a battery knocking around, which is why I'm not worried about using my familiar's magic. So, it's close to the mom fight. But we are definitely going to benefit from having extra familiars in the mom fight, so... Will you die? Thank you. We'll pick up all of these, because even though we've now only got 30 seconds, I'm reasonably sure that we can't get into the boss rush, but... Where did that come from? I died. I died before the mom fight. That was my first Lilith run, to be fair. And I uh, made a few major misplays. There's something about daily runs that just make me panic. So I make bad decisions. Uh, so we only ranked 8,000th. Well, that was that. I have no friends, apparently. Globally, wow. <laughs> How'd you get that many points? I am my only friend. Um, I think we're actually halfway through, so only half the people have played so far. I think normally we're about nine hours in, which seems strange, but anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.